Hello everyone. Welcome to Civil Mania. So today I'll be discussing about some of the basic commands in AutoCAD. So let me open AutoCAD fast. The, there are various commands which I have not taught you in my previous lecture. So I'll be uh, telling about all those topics. So I have opened AutoCAD. So in the AutoCAD, first I will uh, switch off the grid, grid mode. After that, some some commands which I have not shown you previously. I will be showing about those commands. See, these are the various commands which I have already shown. Uh, in this menu, even I have uh, so as in the quick access customize in a quick access uh, toolbar, I have shown you about show menu bar in my first lecture the see the menu bar menu bar will arise after that you can go directly for file here for edit option here then for view options here everywhere you can go directly so though you don't have to search for everything so now let me go to that drawing and i hope uh, you can see this option this is a one kind of donut so let me draw the donut see donut uh, uh, for drawing the donut i have clicked on this uh, this one now they are asking for specify inside diameter of the donut let the inside diameter be point uh, let the inside diameter be one and outside diameter now they are asking for outside diameter now the let the outside diameter be two then press enter now the specify the center point of donut let this one is the center point of donut now the donut has been created okay so you uh, i have created two two donuts here as you can see here these are the various donuts which i have created i hope it's clear to all of you uh, that how to create donuts see these are also the various uh, donuts which i have created okay so this is about donut now let me Mm, go to uh, now let me uh, first of all draw uh, two lines such as yeah let me draw not it's not necessary to draw two line let me draw one line yeah, let me draw one line or two line and suppose i need to divide this line into the number of equal portions then what i will do then directly you need to go to this draw section and you can click on here divide as you can see here divide or major so you have you need to go to this divide section but before going to this divide you have to first go to this utilities and here point style because for the division of any line uh, the point will be marked and uh, and uh, there are various style of uh, styles for marking the point suppose i will be selecting this one as the point mark and click on ok after that i will again go to this uh, divide line and uh, divide now as you can see in the command box divide select object to divide now i let me select this object i will divide now enter the number of segments or block let me divide this line into eight half eight i will press eight and i'll uh, um, uh, enter it okay see as you can see here the line has been now divided into the eight divisions see one two three four five six seven eight so eight divisions has been created suppose i need to again divide this line but i will select different point style so again go to this point style and select different point style suppose i will be now uh, selecting this point style okay so here also it has been changed now again go to this divide uh, divide option now select the option to divide suppose i will divide it into four divisions press enter now the division has been created one two three four four divisions has been created so i hope it's clear to all of you uh, in what manner we can do the division of any line even not only that in order to draw any line from one division to other division c from the one division uh, to this is the one division i have long line 
I have drawn the line then go to again line command select this point and draw another line in this way we can draw the lines but for drawing the lines it's very necessary so that you switched on this feature you, you need to go to this uh, triangular mark and here you have to select on this node point if you will unselect this then you cannot you will not be able to draw see you can see here that now the node point is not showing here but it's showing in this point because their object snap is on but here it's not showing so in order to again uh, draw you need to select on this option and select on the node now the node point will be shown see as you can see here now the node point is shown in th this is how you can divide uh, any kind of line into the number of divisions and you can draw from the, those divisions the number of lines so i have taught about donut i have taught about about how to divide any line into the number of divisions now let me check for other commands such as uh, uh, i hope uh, everybody knows about spline see this one is the spline command i have clicked on this spline command then i can specify the first point of spline then next point then again next point then again next point then again next point then again next point this is how spline is created see i hope it's clear to all of you that spline can be created in any shape but it's simply used to join one line to another okay after that uh, let me show suppose uh, i'll be drawing two lines suppose uh, i'll be using the line command and i'll draw this line and again i will draw another line then i'll again draw this line and i will see as you can see here this is the box which i have created suppose in uh, in this box i need to uh, do hatching hatching means suppose in this box rectangular box i need to show the brick or stone masonry shape then you need to go to this hatching hatching par, uh, command and you need to click on hatch after that uh, you can see in the command board command box hatch pick internal point i need to click on the any internal point uh, after that as you can see here now the hatching has been created inside but as you can see here the hatching it's which has been created inside its scale is very large because of which uh, the hatching is shown in the form of like two lines are only present so let me do one thing let me simply go to this uh, hatching part and simply click on this box and go to the properties after going to the click properties as you can see here the scale scale is present let me choose the scale as 0.2 see uh, after changing the scale to 0.2 you can see here the how the hatching it looks like so even i can create another rectangular box let me create one rectangular box by using this command simply so now i will be creating another hatching for this so simply click on hatch then you need to select what type of hatching you want because i have already assigned that this hatching part now let me provide some different hatching like ansi 32 so let me provide this hatching see i will click here and as as you can see here now the hatching is created now after that you have to click in this hatching part now after clicking on this hatching part as you can see this uh, point is being created select on this and right click it and after that quick go to the quick properties after that scale will be there now reduce the scale to 0.2 see now the hatching has been created after that close it this is how we can maximize as well as minimize the hatching part so this is how hatching command is being used now after that again let me draw one rectangular box of any size okay i have drawn any kind of uh, lines i have drawn suppose uh, this is the corner portion of the box 
and in this corner part of this box suppose i need to do two uh, there are three commands fillet chamfer and blend suppose i need to create do fillet means fillet means i need to round out round out the edges in order to round off the edge i'll click on fillet then here as it's written in the command box select uh, uh, select uh, first object of the fillet for that i have selected the first object now select the second object now after that the uh, fillet command has been done as you can see here now the rounding of the edges has not been done let me do it again first of all let me go to the fillet command then click in the first select the first object or first of all click on the uh, first object or see remember that one thing that i will be uh, rounding of the as based on the any radius so i will be first of all selecting the radius rad radius now specify the fillet radius as let me specify fillet radius as 5 now you have to select the first object as well as second object after that as you can see here now the rounding of uh, of the edge has been down again you can go to fillet now go to again radius then 5 is created now select let me select two radius then first object and second object see how the fillet uh, command is uh, used now let me use another command that is chamfer command chamfer means in this way we can chamfer of the edge in the chamfer let me provide the here as you can see polyline distance angle so let me provide here as distance now let me provide the distance as 5 first uh, then specify chamfer specify second chamfer distance again second chamfer distance as 5 now this is the first line and this is the second line so i hope you can see here from the corner 5 as well as from this corner 5 so this is how chamfer can be done by selecting the length of the chamfer again you can uh, click here and you can do blend the edge I have clicked on blend the edge select the first corner as well as select the second edge see this is how blending of, of the edge is done i hope it's clear to all of you about chamfer fillet and blend curves uh, now the other there are also even other commands which i so there are even various commands which i'll be uh, showing you in my next lecture so now let me also uh, let me check the time how much time uh, 13 minutes i have taught so let me again show you today another command that is about block i hope everybody knows about block uh, in uh, for the block see uh, in the autocad uh, diagram while creating the autocad plan uh, sections and elevations especially in the plan there is the requirement of blocks blocks means uh, see I, I hope you have already seen before that in the any kind of autocad plan there will be the presence of bed chairs tables lamps and all these things is, are available so these all uh, diagram says which are uh, actually prepared beforehand so we don't have to uh, prepare it uh, during the time of drafting or during the time of drawing the diagram so we can sim we need to simply import these figures so these all figures are actually known as blocks autocad blocks so, and for that you have to simply go to the google and you have to type it here download autocad blocks just wait autocad blocks after uh, clicking autocad blocks various uh, uh, arise, uh, website arises See, you can go to the first link and you can click on this link after clicking on this link
see these are the various aut AutoCAD blocks as you can see here uh, so there are various uh, blocks which are being prepared beforehand like furniture cat blocks bathroom cat blocks car cat blocks interior cat detail cat blocks so there are various blocks which we do which we don't have to prepare it during the time of drawing simply we need to import it so suppose we can go to this various animal details see these are the various blocks and these are all free of cost suppose these are the various animals so if you need any block you can simply click on these blocks and you can directly suppose let me go to the CAD collections these are the various architectural details so these are the various kind of doors and windows and claw and claddings and all these things is suppose let me uh, import this one so I'll simply click it on this free after that I need to click it here in the download button now the downloading has been uh, in progress after the downloading will be completed see the download has been completed architectural element now you need to simply go to the AutoCAD and in the AutoCAD you need to go to these blocks and in these blocks you need to go to the, this add blocks create blocks or insert you need to go to this insert blocks so click it here in the insert blocks and after insert blocks then so these are the insert blocks uh, this I have inserted before the various chairs and tables is so even you can go now and you can insert it here so for that do one thing click on insert and go from block from libraries and uh, after that so you need to click it here and you can uh, go to the desktop uh, because my uh, simply just my uh, my blocks are being downloaded so i'll go to the download architectural elements so these are the various architectural elements uh, which uh, i'll be importing let the yeah see as you can see here there are the various architectural details which are being created see see these are the uh, various kind of details suppose click it here yeah as you can see here i have imported this uh, block directly now i am zooming it see this one you don't have to create it directly you can import it suppose uh, from the various chairs and armchairs these are the various kind of chairs or these are the various uh, details of chairs let me click it here see these are the various blocks of all the chairs and tables which are being created as you can see here these are the various blocks all these blocks see these are the various round table blocks so all these blocks are being created directly so we don't have to create simply you need to import it so again go to the uh, uh, internet and google and let me import some other such as some fences and gates let me click it here and let me click in this different type of fancy gates download it again yeah it has been downloaded now again go to AutoCAD and uh, go to the blocks uh, there insert blocks after that uh, you need to insert blocks then uh, blocks from the 
libraries now you need to click it or you have to click it here and after that street uh, fences and gates simply click it after clicking it go to here and select from libraries architectural uh, street fences and gates see as you can see here these are the various kind of fences this is the main fence then these are the various type of fancy gates which are being created directly so we don't have to create it okay so i hope it's clear to all of you what uh, what do you mean by blocks then what do you mean by hatch command what do you mean by this uh, uh, donut command and what do you mean by the divide divide command okay so and uh, in my next video i will be telling about different commands i hope it's clear to all of you so if you have not subscribed then subscribe it uh, my channel and thanks for watching my video